welcome along to another one of my top 1000 greatest vinyl records and today I've well I've been diving through my record collection that you can see in this wall behind me and I've picked out three well live albums I thought yeah we'll go for a live theme here now first up without further ado this album that I've picked is one which well I got quite big on Portishead back uh, late 90s I didn't get their first album I think it was called uh, I think it might have been Dummy for some reason, I never got that. I do have some of the singles on 12 inch from it. I did get the second album, and then this came up, and this was quite an unusual release. This is Roseland NYC Live, and it's a live album, and it's where they recorded um, in New York City with a full symphonic orchestra. And it's, it's an interesting and actually quite an ambitious plan, and it's something that quite a few groups around that time um, uh, repeated. I mean, I can think of off the top of my head Metallica with S and M with the San Francisco uh, Philharmonic Orchestra, but this was the Porter's head take on the idea. Now, unfortunately, uh, the sleeve, the glue, has has gone a little bit there, so I do need to do a bit of repair work on this. But other than that, the package is in really good condition. It's not a gatefold, but it is quite a thick sleeve, as you can see from the thickness of the spine here. Now, on the cover. We've got a picture of the orchestra there and uh, the the group as well. And they also had somebody doing live scratching on turntables. So it must have been quite an amazing experience to be there. On the back, we've got, it's mostly black. We've got the white on the bottom and then we've got the full track listing. Now, this album, as I said before, it's not gatefold, but you do get two albums. And this is, again, from the period where vinyl was kind of just starting to make a comeback. So we've got quite a lot of attention to detail and some of these newer groups of the time were really into vinyl and really tried to push vinyl and keep the format alive. And I was only too happy to keep buying vinyl. So as I was arguing with my partner earlier on today, I'm not a hipster because I was buying vinyl when it wasn't trendy to buy it. You know, I just never stopped buying it. So the fact I still buy it now, well, I'm not a hipster. That's my defence anyway. Anyway, we're moving on. This was on the Gobi label and uh, they came out of the scene um, in the sort of Bristol, Portishead, uh, Avonmouth area and uh, certainly uh, people like Alison Goldfrapp was uh, an artist who was semi-discovered by people like Adrian Utley who was of uh, Portishead fame. Now what I like about this album is it's very raw. There's no post-production meddling to get out any errors. And there's actually a bit where uh, the lead singer uh, actually hits a, a bum note and it's still there on the album. And it makes it so well authentic for me. I like it. It's like you're there. There's a lot of atmosphere on this recording. You've got the full crowd sound in there as well. It's a very ambient recording. And we've got some stonking versions of uh, some of their big name tracks. So we've got things like uh, Strangers, We've got Glory Box, Sour Times, that was a big uh, song for them. We've also, on the other album, we've got uh, Mr. Ron's, Only You, Half Day Closing, Over. We've got Humming, Cowboys and All Mine. Some of these I recognise as quite big singles for the time because I've got them on some very heavy pressing 12 inch singles. And it has to be said, one of the things that surprised me about the singles that they released, they came out on an extremely heavy grade vinyl, so much so that they're almost easy to mistake for old Bakelite records from the 78 period because they've got that much heft to them. The actual albums aren't quite as heavy a pressing, but they're still a pretty reasonable pressing on that. And because we've got all the tracks stretched over two discs, we get a very, very good sound quality off this. Also in the packaging, we uh, get this, like it's almost like a little booklet, is it? No, it's like a fold-out poster. On that side, you do wonder why they bothered, because there's not a lot there. We've got a little bit of pictures in a collage across there. The white band with the, with the Roseland NYC Port said life. It's all black. On the other side, we've basically got an enlarged blow-up of the front cover image. So, just a little bit of an extra. You could have probably blue-tacked it to your wall if you are of a certain age at the time buying this. But, to be honest, if you were the sort of age that stuck these things on your wall, you probably wouldn't have been buying vinyl. So um, that's mint, it's never been on a wall. It is probably an unusual album to track down on vinyl, but fans of Portishead will not be disappointed. And because it comes 
early on in their career when I think it was only two other studio albums out. It's certainly very fresh sound from them and well worth buying. Now the next album that I've picked from our live selection, this is a Queen album. And I know we've only just done a Queen video where we picked three of their really, really good album tracks. But this, I thought, well, there's so much Queen to pick from. I thought I'd slip in Queen Live Killers. Now this was their first live album that they released. And it's just great, really, listening to this. It's almost like you were there. And it makes me really wish that I was old enough to have been able to have gone and seen Queen live on the road because they are amazing live. And I've said this before, some artists are brilliant on the album but questionable live. And yet more artists are questionable on the album but brilliant live. Well, Queen, they are brilliant for both. And this package, it's got all their big hits of the time. But some of them, they're almost like extended versions. It's like they were band, the band were playing with the crowd. And one of my favourite tracks on here is Now I'm Here. And it's just worth, find that track off this album and listen to it and love it. Because Freddie Mercury is encouraging the crowd to sing with it. He's, him, he's playing games with the crowd. It is just awesome. You have to listen to this album. I cannot sell this album more highly. Go out, buy it. If you already have a copy, great, go you. If you don't have a copy, go out, buy it, find it, listen to it, love it, make love to it, sleep with it. <coughs> anyway, just calming briefly, briefly down. Well, we've got all the great tracks on here. We Will Rock You, Let Me Entertain You, Death on Two Legs, Killer Queen, Bicycle Race, I'm In Love With My Car, Get Down, Make Love, You're My Best Friend, Now I'm Here, Dreamer's Ball, Love Of My Life, 39, Keep Yourself Alive, Don't Stop Me Now, Spread Your Wings, Brighton Rock, Bohemian Rhapsody, Tie Your Mother Down, Sheer Heart Attack, We Will Rock You, We Are The Champions, God Save The Queen. It can't say better than that. I mean, it's just brilliant. It's on a gatefold there, and we've got loads of pictures uh, from the tour in there. And uh, again, suffering from the sort of 70s, early 80s, well, actually, no, it's 1979, so it's got that kind of orangey, washed out look, which, you know, limitations of camera technology of the day. We've got two discs, and these are packed, really are. We've got, uh, well, we've got um, a little bit of information, actually, on the inner sleeve for a change. So we've got Don't Stop Me Now is the most recent Queen hit as of this album being released, literally fighting its way up the charts to win a new audience in Britain, 1979. And it gives you a little bit of information about some of the other tracks as well. And uh, let's have a look at what's on the other disc. Well, the other disc, instead of red, we've got green, so we've got... Stop. <laughs> Stop. Go. You could almost use this like red card, green card, red card, green card. But again, on this, we've got a little bit more information on some of the tracks on that particular disc. It's a great package. I cannot speak more highly of it. Now, where'd you go after that? How do you beat Queen? Well, in all honesty, you don't. But there are people who come close. And I've picked out this package. This is the Eagles and Hell Freezes Over. Now, this was recorded live on an MTV tour, 1994, I think it was. And this was after the Eagles reformed. They'd split in 1980. I know it's hard to believe that for all of the 80s, pretty much, uh, people like Glenn Fry, Don Henley, Joe Walsh, they all went off, had their solo careers. And uh, I think it was Don Henley had said in 1980, uh, when asked, the Eagles will reform when hell freezes over. So... Naturally, when they actually did reform and go back on the road, um, it was the natural title for the album, because obviously Satan was going to work in a snowplow. And in fact, uh, on the intro to, I think it's, let's see, Hotel California, there's Don Henley says, uh, just for the record, we didn't break up, we just took a 14-year vacation. Now, this particular edition I've got here, this was the Simply Vinyl re-release, and uh, I've mentioned Simply Vinyl before. They were one of the pivotal labels in really um, surging the revival in vinyl and helping it survive and build a new audience. And they specialised in pressing very, very heavy-duty presses of um, classic albums. And this was one that they uh, released all on 180 gram virgin vinyl. So the sound quality of these is superb. We've got it as if it's got its original uh, packaging. It's on the Geffen, David Geffen record label. And we've got, again, that thick spine, which belays the fact that what we've got in here is two very heavy vinyl records. So I'm pulling them out. Pretty plain slip case. 
but uh, we've got that's what 180 gram virgin vinyl looks like you see there's no real flop on there there's not much on the uh, labels in there but we don't need to this is an album for listening to now let's have a look what else have we got in here there's a little piece of card that comes out fact, there's two so we've got the band photo from 94 a little bit of information of the tracks that are on this album. Can't tell you why. New York Minute, Last Resort, Take It Easy, In The City, Life In The Fast Lane and Desperado. There, there were some uh, new tracks that were exclusive to this release that weren't classics performed live. And on the album, they're studio versions. But this was also available on Laserdisc, DVD, VHS. You know, but, um, actually no, at the time it wouldn't have been on DVD. It was later available on DVD, but at the time, VHS, Laserdisc. And that featured live recordings of these um, these tracks. And indeed, subsequently, when it was released on DVD, there were some extra bonus tracks on as well. The other thing here we've got, we've got um, a little bit of lyrics from Get Over It, Love Will Keep Us Alive, The Girl From Yesterday, Learn To Be Still. I think they're the four new tracks that were exclusive to this release. And then we've got a little bit of information about the other tracks on there. So three great live albums to add to the 1,000 greatest vinyl albums. Don't forget to like this video, share it too. And this is me, Jenny Coates, saying until next time, keep those vinyl records spinning.